Hello everyone! This concise guide will introduce you to the architecture, drop-down lists, and pre-filled options of the background builder. Backgrounds are a vast theme, which is why we'll dedicate a special part of the video guide to best practices for solving specific tasks with this builder. We'll explore the pro version in this video, which encompasses both starter versions and is suitable for all kinds of tasks. The photo background starter version is designed for creating photorealistic backgrounds, such as empty product stands in various environments, professional photo shoot backdrops, and webcam interior backdrops for streamers or video conference participants, like Zoom. The artistic background starter version is aimed at creating backdrops in various art styles, which might be used for desktop and phone wallpapers, children's book illustrations, website design, invitations, and other printables, presentation slides and social media text backdrops, digital paper for scrapbooking and junk journals, and much more. In this guide, we'll discuss both task groups, so even if you've purchased one of the starter versions, you'll get an idea of how to work with other projects. Let's explore the drop-down lists. The background prompt builder consists of three blocks, design, style, and parameters. The result prompt can be found in D22, and all the choices we make are visible there. In the design block, among digital products, we have various kinds of backgrounds. You can find illustrations for them in the best practice sheet, which we'll discuss later. For now, note that background and digital background are considered differently by Midjourney. These illustrations serve as starting points for all your future projects and tasks, we'll need it later on. Returning to the builder sheet, the them also greatly influences the outcome as it will be placed before the digital product type like this. The other fields in this block help you create a detailed design. When selecting options from these drop-down lists, avoid choosing the group names. They will not impact the outcome prompt. Additionally, you may add your design, which will appear first, as shown here. Your custom details will precede the design details, like this. All these fields work together and do not exclude each other. Moving on to the style block, Colors preset lists exact colors, while color palette suggests how these colors should appear. Pale, bright, shiny, dark, etc. You may also add your colors if needed and they will be prioritized. Style is divided into basic and art styles. In the artistic background starter builder, you can use both, giving you more control over the result style. The photo version doesn't include art styles. As always, you will find all the examples in the Style Examples sheet. Each style is illustrated with a simple image created in version 6, offering a wealth of inspiration and creative ideas. Style Details is an additional drop-down list not available in the starter versions of the Builder. It allows you to emphasize your style further with stronger shadows, more or fewer details, adding symmetry, whatever you envision. For the starter version, you can add similar details to this custom text field. Regarding parameters, everything is also clear and well explained in the video guide about the starter builder. In the background pro builder, we've added a generic reference image text field in response to customer inquiries about recreating images they admire. This field is for generic references, not style or character, serving as your starting point. The link from here will appear at the beginning of the prompt. Please note that Midjourney will not create a new image based solely on your generic reference image. Some text should also be present in your prompt. Image and style weights can be found in the same drop-down list with stylized values. Aspect ratios include a few new options suitable for various phone models. Don't overlook the utility of negative prompting. If you're working with one of the starter versions and find adding multiple parameters challenging, be aware of the prefer suffix command. This allows you to add your specific parameters to all your prompts, as shown on the screen. You can include several parameters this way by listing them consecutively. To revert to default parameters, use the prefer suffix command again, leave it blank and press enter or return on Mac. This builder was developed post version 6 release, ensuring full compatibility. Version 6 has significantly improved photorealistic images and better understanding of longer prompts, 
allowing us to add more details with less likelihood of them being overlooked by mid-journey. We've already highlighted the best practice sheet accessible in this builder, regardless of the version you're using. Following the digital product illustrations, you'll find a list of 12 example tasks with solutions. Backgrounds for different purposes can vary greatly, so we've provided approaches for several projects. For example, if you're a desktop or phone wallpaper creator, the first task offers insights into drop-down list selections for achieving desired results. Remember, this is just one of the possible solutions. Your creativity and willingness to experiment are key. Another scenario involves professional product photographers using mid-journey to create various environments for placing items. Then, this task caters to you. Maybe you're a streamer or a video blogger, and you want your audience to see a nice room behind you. So you place a chroma key behind you and then replace it with any photorealistic background that you like. In some situations, you don't even need a green screen. There's software that can cut the object from any background. The idea is clear, but we recommend reviewing all examples to enhance your background creation skills. That's it, short as promised. These tips are designed to optimize background outcomes in the Midjourney text-to-image AI generator. Enjoy using your background prompt builder.